the era of the sloths, and uh, they come into life. They've been in darkness for millions of years, and right now this is this is the time, the awakening time. Pura Vida, welcome to the Sloth Sanctuary of Costa Rica. Although Luis and Judy Arroyo met in Alaska, they made their home in Costa Rica. It was there that they founded Avierios del Caribe, the Sloth Sanctuary, over 15 years ago. It all began after they adopted a barely living baby three-fingered sloth named Buttercup, whose mother had been killed. We, we didn't know what sloths were. We were just rebuilding our lives after the earthquake. So many people wanted to stay here, and we were renting as we were going, and each, each person that stayed in our hotel helped pay for the, the next room to come. When one day, Three little neighbor girls that lived across the street came to the gate and they said that they had something for us. And it was this tiny little baby sloth, just the most beautiful little orphan sloth. The little girls knew that it wasn't going to survive in the forest, so they said, we'll take it to the, to the crazy people across the street with all those dogs. <laughs> and they brought her to us and, and we fell in love with this little thing, this little creature. We named her Buttercup. Eventually, we she she's so named sweet. herself. She's she a sweet girl. Princess Buttercup. Princess Buttercup. Buttercup greets everyone arriving at the sanctuary with her now famous smile. The Sloth Sanctuary is truly a one-of-a-kind place. Its 250 acres house countless wild two- and three-fingered sloths, some of whom were rehabilitated by the Arroyos and liked the place enough to stay. You can also spot some of Costa Rica's other spectacular wildlife there, like Jesus Christ lizards, caimans, and hundreds of species of native birds. While on the grounds, you can take a boat trip up the many tributaries of the Estrella River, or walk along miles of trails. The sanctuary is also a short drive to the beach town of Puerto Viejo, where you'll find one of the most famous beaches on the Caribbean coast. But of course, the main reason to visit, and what truly sets the sanctuary apart, is the sloths. Here you'll find the largest captive population of two and three fingered sloths anywhere in the world. Oh, no, we didn't find them. They found us. They found they us. They adopted and, us. Yeah. But it didn't stop at just sloths. Luis and Judy, affectionately known as Mama and Papa Sloth, are the proud caregivers to a wide menagerie of orphaned and injured animals, ranging from the tiny and cute to the bizarre and everything in between. Judy and Luis have enlisted the help of their entire family to run the sanctuary and care for the sloths, but it's become an expensive mission. We have uh, done many things to survive. Um, we spend um, a lot of money in the food, and, and we have four girls taking care of to help Judy. We have three guys to clean up the cages and, and to take them out. And, and, but now, what we need is professional help. What they really want is to increase the public's knowledge of this often misunderstood animal, and in doing so, decrease the number of sloths harmed by people. For the first time in history, I think, we have this number of sloths that are healthy, that have been hand-raised, that are uh, uh, comfortable around people, too. Uh, learn about. The most important thing we can do right now is to invite people to come in and learn as much about the sloth as, as, as we can. So little is known about sloths, in fact, that the sanctuary provides a true opportunity for university students to do rare, groundbreaking research. There's never been a place like the sanctuary before, where so many sloths are easily accessible. Luis and Judy have the questions, but they need scientists to provide the answer. We are prepared now to offer uh, the Sloth Sanctuary of Costa Rica as a research center. We have the facilities, we have the infrastructure set up. We have 250 acres of primary and mostly secondary forest. Uh, we have, of course, the, the animals that are wild in this forest. We have an abundant population of, of wild sloth. We have uh, very comfortable, nice rooms for our researchers to stay in. We have a kitchen for food. I mean, we can feed our 
researchers, we can house them, we can take very good care of them. We have amazingly uh, interesting studies ahead of us because so little is known. We need to get this message out that this is a place that, that um, ornithologists, herpetologists, uh, mammologists, uh, botanists, anybody can come here and do research that is new, that hasn't been done before. We need to know what the wild sloths do in the wild. We need to know about how they eat, how they choose the leaves that they eat, how they don't over intoxicate themselves with one poison leaf. We need to learn about the, the different illnesses that they have. Why are we finding so many babies on the ground? Almost 90 of these sloths are babies that have been brought into us, that have been found. Those are the ones that have survived that are still here. So that's an awful lot of something going on in the wild that's not successful anymore. We have a lot of experience, but what we need is universities, and research centers that would send their students to work with us. So I think the most important way we're going to get legitimacy with what we're doing, Luisa and I aren't scientists or biologists or even veterinarians. We just love the animals. But in order for these animals to get legitimacy, we have to publish. And we have to have scientists to come and want to publish their findings. This is where we're going. The Sloth Sanctuary welcomes all research opportunities, except those that will be harmful to the sloth. It's Judy and Luis's hope that the sloth will one day become the official ambassador of the Costa Rican rainforest. The sloths have a message. They pass that message to us, and now it's our duty to help them pass that message to the world. That message is live like the sloths live. Live slowly. Take life easy. Don't bother your neighbor. Let your neighbor be. Uh, chew your feet slowly. Uh, use only what you need and live in peace and harmony. We need to learn to slow down and live in our, in our planet and live well in our planet. That's the message of the sloth.